Keyshawn Johnson, how do you explain this? Well, the Niners have won much cleaner games than the San Francisco, than, than the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm -hmm. They're just cleaner. Philadelphia's had clunky wins. So when you look at it, the, the, the margin of victory for Philadelphia is seven points. It's 20 points for the San Francisco 49ers. So when you're looking at this, you're saying to yourselves, the 49ers are a better football team because, as Richard said earlier, one team squeaked out a victory against the Cowboys. Another team backed up the truck against the Cowboys and ran them over back and forward. So when you start to look at that, I understand, hey, they're 10-1. They're not favored at home. I, I get all that. But that doesn't mean in the end that they don't find a way to win the football game. They may not beat uh, San Francisco by 16 points. They may only beat them by two with a walk-off field goal. But they still win the game. So I wouldn't get so caught up in why they would be underdogs at home in their 10 and 1 because they still got to play each other. They got to play each other. They're not looking at the what if Purdy stayed healthy in the NFC Championship game with San Francisco play Kansas City in the Super Bowl. You'll never know that because it didn't happen. Only thing we can go off of is what Asan Reddick did. And the only thing we go off this year is San Francisco bouncing back from going three straight losses to all of a sudden taking care of business against the Jacksonville Jaguars and erasing those three games that they lost and then coming out the following week and then blowing off the doors. So when you start to look at this team, yeah, San Francisco's a really good team, but so is Philadelphia. So don't get all giddy thinking that San Francisco's going to go in the link and just run away with it. So now you can feel good about the Dallas Cowboys having a chance to catch the Eagles because when the Eagles win the game, mm. it's a wrap. Mm. for the Dallas Cowboys in the division. Well, it sounds like you're still going Eagles to win this game. I, I am going Eagles to win the really? game. I'm not changing my mind. Okay. No, I'm not. Not at all. And a lot of that has to do with you oh. and Michael Irvin. <laughs> I, yeah, because I want to see the pain. Okay. I just want to see the pain in your eyes and your voice the Monday that you have to come in here with me after Philadelphia takes care of business. That is called... And especially tomorrow, yeah. uh -huh. if Seattle, for some weird reason... Yeah. Win this game? Who are you picking in that game? I'm picking Dallas. But I also know yeah. that Seattle could mm. possibly walk in and upset the Cowboys. Oh, okay. Ooh, that'll hurt. It, it sounds like you're Yo, seeing hurt. the light about the Cowboys, right? No, I'm not. I'm not, yeah. Skip. The, the Philadelphia Eagles have struggled a bit um, more defensively. Like you said, they're 20th in points. They're 29th in yard, passing yards, giving up a game. They're 19th in total yards, giving up a game. The San Francisco 49ers are a top five offensive team in most categories. Um, Brock Purdy is number one in just about every elite stat, your QBR stat that you love, yards per attempt, um, deep throw, completion percentage, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. That's a reason he's playing like a top five quarterback. And so that's why they have the Philadelphia Eagles down. They're healthier than they have been. Um, this defense, since the break, since the bye week, um, since Steve Wilkes has come out of the booth and gone to the field, this defense has, has been lights out. They've been one or two in the league. They're number one in scoring. Uh, I, that's why. I mean, I don't think they're going to let him go back in the booth for the rest of his tenure in 49ers in a, as a 49ers coach. Uh, this defense has gotten better because they got Chase Young now, another guy that can rush the passer since he's come into the fold. The three games that he's come into the fold, Nicholas John Bosa has had five sacks. The turnovers has increased. The points per game has decreased. So you got to give him a lot of credit. Javon Hargraves, Eric Armstead's production have both increased substantially over the last three, four games that Chase Young has been in the fold. So those are the reasons why the San Francisco 49ers are favored in this game. Their defense is playing lights out. Brock Purdy's playing lights out. Christian McCaffrey has 27 touchdowns in 22 games as a San Francisco 49er. I expect him to have a touchdown this game. They're, they're, they're a better team. And so, Skip, regardless of what you say, this is what it looks like when the team is just great. Mm. So, help me out here. San Francisco is such an invincible juggernaut that it somehow lost three straight games. I, I don't really understand. Well, one, Debo yeah, Samuel, they, they, Debo they were, Samuel was hurt. <laughs> Trent Williams was hurt. Trent. Okay. okay. Everybody has somebody hurt. Yeah, but that was a key, that was a key ingredient oh. for what they do. Oh. So the best thing for you to do, if y'all ever get the opportunity to see them again, huh. is hope.
that they're missing some of the key ingredients. I don't. I hope they're full strength. Oh, okay. I yeah, I don't think so. You don't hope that. Yeah, I don't, I, you don't hope yeah. that. Third time's going to be the playoff trifecta. Okay. You don't know that, right. Skip. Yeah. Yeah. Skip. We have found. That'll be the playoff trifecta. Yeah. That'll be the playoff trifecta of okay. sitting your home three times, Skip. You're right. burn. You you're going to burn your whole Dallas Cowboys man cave at that point, huh? <laughs> you, 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 you know what's so funny, Skip? You yeah. said that the, uh, the San Francisco 49ers lost three straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they did. And you know I have the Cowboys losing three straight, too? Mm. You know, Philly, Buffalo, and Miami. I got them losing three could, straight. Could, could we bet three dinners on three straight losses? Man, I can't eat that much. I, I, neither can I, but I can try. I, I, I can pile them up. <laughs> One game at a time, Skip. Right? One game at a time. Okay, but so I got them Johnson losing three straight. As predicted, the Dallas yeah, Cowboys absolutely. losing three straight games. We yes. got that on tape. Yes. You may have to replay I that already tape. got it. I've been at it on tape. Yeah. Okay. I just well, said I, I three now, but I had them losing to Philly, going to Buffalo losing, okay. and going to Miami losing. Yeah. I think you were going back and forth on maybe they'd win one of those. Nah, I'm not going back and forth. Yeah. Okay. It's desperation time okay. in Buffalo, and, and, and I already know what Philly going to do. And then okay. Miami, Back, back you know, against the wall. Miami is, is just, it's Miami. Okay. They don't lose at home. Once again, you have been victimized by picking with heart overhead because those are. Yes, I am picking heart with heart against, against right. you. Okay. Yes, I am doing that. All right. So that's, that, that's what Skip did for Philadelphia when they beat the Dallas Cowboys and then they beat the Chiefs because he was picking with heart overhead. I, I, you I was not. They would lose those I, games. I just think Dallas is better than Philadelphia because Dallas' defense is definitely better than Philly. And right now, I think that Dak Prescott's playing the greatest football of his life, and he's playing a, at a little higher level than Jalen Hurts is. Jalen is playing at a higher level late in these games because these edge-of-cliff games he keeps pulling out with late great throws like that one he made Sunday against Buffalo, against to Zacchaeus, that I'm just – I still can't believe it. It, yeah. it was a thing of – but he's pointing. Beauty. He's pointing. He's poised. Okay. He's pointing right. down the field. He's letting them know you he get is. to this spot. I'm gonna let it go. Okay. You know, you you it, it, you say the Cowboys are better than the Eagles, but they didn't beat them. It's like me saying that the Dodgers are better than Diamondbacks, but they didn't beat them. And the Diamondbacks went on to win the World Series. Come on now. Okay, but that means you, nothing. You you can watch it, and your eye test will tell you that Dallas is just a little better than. No, Dallas my eye is. test tells me yeah. I've never yeah. beaten a team over but, 500 this but, year. That's what my eye what, test tells me. What, what your eye test isn't telling you is a stat that that our advanced analytics guys at TNF have let me know is that Dak has not thrown very many touchdowns when they're even or trailing in the ball game. When they're ahead or in an obvious. Winning position, he okay. throws a lot of his yards and touchdowns. Ooh. But when they are behind Ooh. or when they're when, when they're in a dogfight, he does he's not as effective as Ooh. a quarterback. And that Ooh. is just the factual evidence. Ooh. And the opposite okay. is true for Jalen Hurts. They were trailing most of these games. Ooh. He becomes very effective Ooh. in getting the ball down the field, scoring touchdowns, winning ball games. Oh, okay, okay. Richard, fact. save some of that okay, for tomorrow, no, man. Hold on. But now we're my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm well. warming up. <laughs> <laughs> now now we're back to Keyshawn's point all year long that I've had to hear and hear and hear again. They just beat up on bad teams. And you got me. We've beaten up. We've rolled up big stats on bad teams. Dak is just a tick behind Brock Purdy and QBR, but he's doing it against bad teams in runaway situations. Maybe a lot of garbage time touchdowns. And Brock Purdy's okay? doing it against good teams. Okay, okay. I, I give you that. Our season is about to start because all of your excuses are going to go out the window when we go Seattle, Philadelphia, at Buffalo, at Miami, Detroit, and then we end – end against our arch rival at Commanders. So Yeah, y'all going to beat the Commanders okay. by then. They'll be in the fire to coach. Well, given what you're saying, your scenario, we, we may be out of the playoffs. No, nah, y'all are finishing at yeah. bottom somewhere. So, so if y'all if y'all lose four if y'all lose four of those games, Skip, then then what do we what is the conversation? Well, we're not. That, that's the conversation is we're not going <laughs> to lose for the. I, I got us winning, let's see, what do we have left? Five games. We we're going to win four out of the last five. Right, we're eight and three, eleven. Out of, uh, five of six, five of six is what we're going to win. Yeah, that's what I got. If you don't, you, you do realize you all the teams. Hey, hey, can four. we get a dinner bet on that? Skip? Four. No, I I've got all kinds of dinner bets on winning the division. So let's get but a dinner bet on five and six. I need Philly to do what they should have done and lose to Kansas City and Buffalo. Even so if Phil even if Philadelphia yeah. even if Philadelphia did lose to the Dallas Cowboys, even if they did, do you know Philadelphia's schedule? They got like the Giants. Go to Seattle. They got two Giants. They got Arizona's and the Giants sandwiched in between. Like, come on, man. 
You know what? The Giants are starting to play a little better football. And all of a sudden, Danny DeVito is looking like Tommy DeVito, right? I mean, he's starting to look like he can play a little bit. It's not impossible that in a division rivalry that one of those two Giants games, they will lose. Man, I can't. I can't okay, well, you I know it. If they lose to the Giants. Blow the doors off the Giants. Time out. I'm looking at what Philly did against Washington. They barely beat them twice. It took overtime to beat them the first time. Yes. To beat them in because overtime Washington, at home? Are you kidding? Washington and Washington's defense at the time with Jack Del Rio and Ron Rivera, they know how to play the Eagles. They beat them last year. That was one of their losses last yeah, year. They, that, just, that, know, that was they just know how to play them. Like, come and that on, was before skip. they traded away 13 sacks. They traded away Chase Young, Sweat, Montez Sweat. I mean, yes. and then they played y'all without them. So, I mean, a whole different team. Yeah, I'm about to have a great second half of this season because I'm going to get to come in here for six straight Mondays, and you guys are going to be in trouble to the point I'm not sure you will show up for some of these Monday shows. Is 10 and 1, 10 and 1? Did Bill Parcells yeah, say but, you are what your records say you are? Okay, but is, is that is that? I'm just you know asking what? you, Skip. That's what he said. Okay, but so Vegas is saying you're not what your record is. Oh, okay. Vegas and is Vegas saying, knows better than Vegas knows oh, better than coaches. Vegas I get it. Knows pretty, no, Vegas you know, knows Vegas that is money is coming sharp. in on the betting line, yeah. and so therefore no. it sways no. the way that they lay the games down. No, they're, they're oh, trying okay. to protect themselves because they know San Francisco is way better than Philadelphia. They know Philadelphia is a shaky, flimsy, almost fraudulent 10 and 1. That's what they're telling you because they're looking at these games saying Okay, so here, so skip. Lost, let me ask you this lost, though. Should have lost. So if 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 they are a fraudulent 10 and 1 mm -hmm. and they've beaten Miami and if I miss something correct me here. I'm just going Miami, Kansas City, the Dallas Cowboys, Buffalo. the Buffalo Bills. Mm -hmm. All of those teams in my eyes mm -hmm. tell me just from my little memory, my little P brain is big. Yeah. That those teams are over 500, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if they're fraudulent, if you're calling them fraudulent, and the Cowboys are eight and three, not ten and one, and they've yet to beat a team over 500, and I'm going to ask you this: I just need a yes or a no, mm -hmm. Mr. Bayless. Mm -hmm. What are the <laughs> Dallas Cowboys? Are they fraudulent? No. Oh, okay. They have found. Them. As, they, as they will say, as they will say. I rest my case no, here. It's a long season, <laughs> and all of a sudden, I think Can both you of you it? know in your heart of hearts, <laughs> the Cowboys have figured it out. All of a sudden, Dak no. Prescott's in a new comfort zone with, believe it or not, Mike McCarthy. It's become the Dak they and Mac out. attack. Right before if you play teams eyes, that are going to be picking in the top five. In the draft, then you're going to win by a lot of points. That's a heck of a the formula. The Carolina I Panthers just can, fired their coach. Them. The Washington Commanders fired their D.C., and they're just waiting I test. to do way we, with Ron Rivera. Brandon we, Staley we is just we, packing his boxes right now yeah. in Los Angeles. Yeah. Those are three coaches that you guys mm -hmm. are no longer having to worry about in the future because they'll be gone. Okay. Are you so, serious right I, now? I'm extremely serious because I want dinner bets on all these games. And, and, oh, let me, let well, me go me, even further me, for you, give Skip. Me dinner. I want dinner. I got dinner with you on Seattle. Yeah. We're only a – Right. Give me, give me a, a dinner nine, bet. We're a nine-point favorite over Seattle. How could that be? Nine I, I, I can't y'all were nine-point favorite over Arizona and y'all went uh, home with a loss. Uh, uh, I mentioned, go ahead, uh, Richard. Look, give me, you want him to go five and six down the stretch. Give me that dinner bet. I'd take that in a Mississippi no, I'm, minute. I'm going to go game by game because I want dinners on oh, each game. Oh, now he's game by game, game, game. Keith. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to do it. Wait, wait, wait. No, I want, I want dinner bets on Seattle and Philadelphia first because those are at home. We've he, only won He want to go game by game with no, you. I, I just want to stack. I want to stack When dinners. I said game by game, I, I don't want to go it. big picture. I want to go little, little, little picture, stack them where I wind up with so many dinners that I can eat for months. And okay, I think so, I'm on the way. So, so, so I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to break it down real quick because I know we got to pay some bills in this mm -hmm. place. You beat the Giants 40 to nothing. The defensive coordinator and head coach aren't getting along. Reports out of New York say that. You beat the New York Jets uh, without their star quarterback that they traded Wait, a handsome ransom to get. Top five defense, right? Top no, five? No, no, no. Yes, no, yes, they yes, 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 Their yes. defense is playing good football, not top, top five, five. Top five. Not top five. 30. 30 not, we not, on not top 30. five with a quarterback that yeah. couldn't get two yards if he wanted to. 30 you, lose to the, you lose to a new yeah. coach 
A brand new coach has never been a head coach before in Arizona. Mm. You beat the New England Patriots, who coach in rumors around, and he may be out or gone, which I don't think is going to happen, but it's still swirling that. around. Yeah. You beat the New England well, Patriots. Well, wait a second. Is he not the greatest defensive coach? It doesn't ever? matter. Doesn't 38 matter. to 3. Doesn't matter. You still 38 lose 38 to him. 38 to 3? You lose to him. The 49ers, they smash you. They did. The Chargers, you're losing them. Their coach is calling you hard at some point. Yeah. The Rams, you beat them, but the Rams didn't have much. A good offense at times. The quarterback got hurt. Philadelphia points. smashes you. They didn't smash you. Okay, they you beat you. Them. Whatever. They beat you. You then beat the Giants again. The defensive coordinator might not even be there next we year. They got no quarterback, no nothing. You yeah. crushed them. Obliterated. The Carolina Panthers just fired their coach. Obliterated. Okay? You yep. with a rookie quarterback got that fired. can't get out of his own way. You probably did. Mm -hmm. Can't get out of his own way. Yep. And then you play the commanders who fired their defensive coordinator. Again, I must say, who head coach is probably going to be looking for another job at the end of the year. Nuke and them. you take pride we in them. that. I test tells you, wait a second, Dallas has arrived. Right on schedule <sighs> for the stretch run. Here we go. All right, up next, we've got to talk Draymond. John Sally joins us to talk about Draymond's great bad night in his return in Sacramento. That's next. Oh, Skip. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.